Hey, hi, hello, my name is Soraya, and today we're going to be playing three scary games. Um, I'm, I'm ready to shit my pants. Let's get into these games. Alright, our first game is going to be Never Apart. So, let's see how this goes. Boop. What's wrong? Very nice, very strong horse. Why is there just a lady right there in the middle of War. What? Okay. I'm gonna fix them light bulbs. Hello? That wasn't me. Five years ago, since the Albuquerque ghoul, Darren Barr was arrested. He originally was scheduled to serve 15 consecutive life terms in jail, but the judge gave him the death penalty after confessing to 11, count them, 11 gruesome murders in his own apartment building. We're talking Jeffrey Dahmer kind of stuff here. This, this stuff made Ted Bundy look like an amateur. Amazingly enough, one survivor managed to escape and help lead to his capture. This brave woman escaped his clutches after he cornered her inside her apartment and through sheer determination or craftiness, hell, maybe even luck, she managed to injure Darren Barr and escape. Where he was then cornered and surrendered to the Okay. I don't even know what you said. I, Mikael Myers. You don't look like Michael, you look like Mikael Myers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Bro. The fucking hyena? Home. What is this? Bendy? We speaking parcel tongue? Why are you whispering in my ear like that? I don't like- I don't like that. I don't know what you're saying, dog. Sorry. What did I say about whispering in my ears? <laughs> Not the furniture. Look, you had me at standing in the middle of the hallway. Not the furniture. The last caller asked a great question. Why? Why kill your neighbors? Well... Mm. Darren was pretty deranged. I mean, abuse when he was younger, a history of erratic, demented behavior through the teens, and then he joined this cult. And that's when things really took off. 
That's when the remorse left. It was a purpose. It was his calling. Apparently, he needed all 12 victims. And he was unable to achieve that because of the one Did you think you could get away? Um, get away from what? Bamboo. Get away from what? This kitchen is disgusting. You will be my last. Last what? I can't be separated from you. We need each other. I don't I don't need anybody. I don't need no <laughs> Five years. Five years what? Why are there crosses on the walls? That's why there's crosses on the walls. <laughs> A gift for me? My heart? Aww. Why well, come somebody doesn't give me their heart? A gift for you? Your soul. Okay, violins, relax. How is the light red when the ceiling boob is white? Oh, wrong way. Albuquerque ghoul murders. Are they related? Could Darren rise back up from the dead? I, I doubt it. Whoever it is, though, they have a remarkable sense of accuracy. I mean, it's almost scary. Even details from prior murders that were never released are being replicated. Weird. I don't know, guys. Hey, hey, Albuquerque's looking a little scary, and I truly don't know when the bloodshed's gonna end. <laughs> Oh. I'm coming for you because even apart we make a great team. Well, no. I don't I don't think so. No. Chocolate? Mm. 
part would make a great team. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Hello? What? Okay. I have goosebumps. I don't know if it's because I'm scared or because I'm cold. So, uh, another caller asked a great question. Do you think Darren was insane? Insane for killing those 11 people. Insane for being this murder spree killer, a uh, serial killer. Well, it really depends, caller, on which entity you believe in. If you want to burn forever, then yes. If you want eternal damnation, then yes, he was insane. But if you want true salvation, if you want the right thing, if you, if you believe in the right thing, then you know he was correct. And honestly, caller, she ruined it for everyone. Huh? You listening to this radio broadcast has ruined it for everyone. He's standing there in that hallway. You think you're going to get away. Do you think you could leave us? No, no, even apart, we make a great team. We'll be back together. Sir? Do you have something to tell me? Why are you growling at me? Oh my god. <sighs> why is the- Why is the bag like latex on you guys? Where the fuck did that come from? Final great question. Did Darren- alone. <laughs> Not at all. He had the help of a certain someone special, a certain woman, who he let escape. You see, the news report says that there were 11 gruesome murders. In fact, there were 23. They mm -hmm. were just spaced five years apart. And we're about to finalize the ceremony. Welcome to paradise. I knew you couldn't stay away. And even apart, we make a great team. Okay. Well. That one was scary. That one got me. That one got me with the jump scares. It really did. Alright, we're gonna move on to the next game. Alright, this next game is called I'm Still Here. I don't know where, but... I'm still here. Ah. Uh, Finally moving into my new place, a chance to start a new life. The landlord seemed a little weird about this place, but I don't have time to worry about that. I need to finish putting those books away. Why are my books moving? Yeah, what the fuck? I need to figure out what's going on. I should ask the internet for help. Okay. Oh, 
how do I... How do I delete my internet history? You can't delete it, dude. You gotta destroy the laptop. How do I know if I'm being haunted? Things move around on their own. Creepy voices. Lights don't work right. Oh snap, I think I have ghosts. Yeah, definitely ghosts. I should ask the internet how to get rid of these ghosts. Um. Oh wait. How do I get rid of a ghost? I read in a book once that ghosts don't like it if you mess with the lights. Hmm, this sounds promising. I should flip my lights on and off to annoy the ghosts. book that was left. Oh, it's stuck! I still can't grab it. Oh, I can't grab that last book, but um... It seems the boat- the, the ghost has some kind of gravitational pull. On books, specifically. Okay, let's go mess with the lights now. Cut that out, dude. Jeez. Who said that? Get out of my house. No way. This is my house. Stop being such a jerk. This is my house now. You must be dead. Oh wow. This is heavy. My spirit must be stuck here because my body still needs to be put to rest. That makes sense to me. Will you help me find my body then? Sure, if it will get you to leave me alone. I'll find your body and put you to rest. It's kind of fucked up. Oh, okay. For ample spots for her body. Not in the oven. Um. Not in the closet. That's me, you found me. Oh. So that's how I died. Wow, this is heavy. Well, can you help me move on so I can stop haunting this place? I'll finally put you to rest, little buddy. wasn't necessarily scary but I enjoyed it nonetheless hello I am John Smith I'll be asking some questions to answer click the yes or no button on the table please press anything to see if it works okay well this is our third game um, interrogation 091 I believe and no. I'm gonna try to answer this interrogation as honest as possible. Do you remember anything? No. Are you married? No. Are you living alone? No. Are you living with your family? Yeah. 
Interesting. Very. Do you have a job? Uh... Streaming is kind of my job. But... I'm in school. We'll say yeah. Do you sit a lot in your work? Yes. Do you love your job? I mean, if it's streaming, yes. Do you love yourself? No. Not at all. Take a break. Okay. The top 100 elevator classics right here. Oh, break is over. Okay. Are you feeling fine? No. Do you want to be rich? Yeah. Do you want to be successful? Yes. Is your name Thera? No. Are you alone right now? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Take a break. We apologize for the minor casualty. What? Okay. Do you feel isolated? No. Did you regret something recently? Yeah. Do you think you live with a purpose? Mm. Yeah. Do you know what you are? No. Do you think you are free in life? No. Are you satisfied? No. Do you still think you're in an interrogation? I mean, I'm still being asked questions, so yes. Thank you for your cooperation. No! No! <sighs> oh no. <laughs> Can't even have a pillow or a blanket or toilet paper. Inhumane. Warning. Subject zero. Four. Three. Two. Has escaped containment cell. All conscious tests must stay the results for safety measures. You have wet feet. Oh! 
Why me? Why are your toes so spread out? What the fuck? Okay. Well. Um. <laughs> thank you for watching my three scary games video, even though the second one wasn't too scary. I really hope that um, you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!